Oh, there she is. Yep, man, here she is. Will's a new client. He brought us in his 1950 Chevy pickup truck for us to restore. The truck's been sitting in his father's barn for decades. It needs a ton of work, and we got to talk about how far he wants to go with it. Here's the uh, mice nest. Did I bring any mice up from Georgia? I don't, you know, I don't know. My father bought this pickup truck. It's a 1950 Chevrolet. And we passed away four years ago. I inherited it. Didn't want to sell it. Finally, my wife, she said, hey, why don't you call Andy and see if he could restore it for you? And so that led to this conversation and to this project. If there's one thing that I understand about family heirlooms, it is cars. My dad gave me his old Chevy truck, and I'll do the same for my daughter. I love the idea of cars handed down through generations. So this rebuild is a feel-good project I'm proud to do. Don't get me wrong, though. The best part is the money I make on it. Everything underneath is going to be new. The bigger project of it was up underneath the truck. Let me lift it up so you can take a look and see what we're talking about. All right. Will knows he wants to spend money to get the truck running, and that alone is a big job. So everything here is going to be brand new. All your fuel line right here, your brake line, see how it's all just sitting? We put yeah. all, all this is going to be new. All new bushings, all new bearings. 100% confident that the drivetrain is going to be top notch. But underneath, I see some expensive problems. See the bottom of the cab corners? See how yeah. they're all rotted yeah. out? So this is where it gets costly. But that's hidden. I mean, that's largely out of sight. That so. is absolutely hidden. We don't have to fix it. We can do it at a later date. If it gets bad, we can kind of just cut it out yeah. and prep it so it doesn't rot anymore, but yeah. it will. These classic rebuilds, you can spend a fortune on them. And it's great work for my shop. But a smart client, he knows his budget. I am not looking for perfect condition. Mm -hmm. This is not intended to be a 100% restoration, mm -hmm. you know. I want it to be functional mm -hmm. and nice looking to the casual eye. Will's agreed to spend 10 grand to get the truck running. After that, let's see how much he has to spend on the body. That's a good chunk of money for my shop, and I know that it won't stop there, so I want to get started on this right away.